In this tutorial, we will see about how uh, the differences between modal and modalless dialog box, and this will be implemented using C sharp. So, what is modal and modalless dialog box? Let's see an example. So, just in case, we need to open some kind of an a file. Say, for example, this PowerPoint presentation. I have opened this file. Let's just consider that this is a form. So when I need to save this form, I will select save as and this is another form which is used to save the previous uh, form. So let's consider that the first form which was the PowerPoint presentation as the parent form and in order to perform some action on the parent form, we have opened another form which is the child form. So only when I complete the action of the child form that is only after I close the child form will I be able to access the parent form so this can be shown here now I'm going to access the parent form I'm not able to access the parent form here so only when I close the child form will I be able to access the parent form in case of more less dialog box you can access the child form as well as the parent form simultaneously. So now let's see the theoretical part. Forms and dialog boxes are either modal or modeless. A modal form or dialog box must be closed or hidden before you can continue working with the rest of the application. Dialog boxes that display important messages should always be modal. The above dialog box in Visual Studio is an example of a modal dialog box. Message box is a modal form you can use. Modeless forms let you shift the focus between the form and another form without having to close the initial form. So as I said, you will be able to access the parent form even without closing the child form. So the user can continue to work elsewhere in any application while the form is being displayed. Modeless forms are hard to program because users can access them in an unpredictable order. You have to keep the state of the application consistent no matter what the user does. Often tool windows are shown in a modeless fashion. The find dialog box accessible from the edit menu in Visual Studio is an example of modeless dialog box. Use modeless forms to display frequently used commands or information. So let's see the coding part. For this I would say file new project and here which is, uh, I would have selected visual C sharp first and instead of console application I would choose windows forms application Okay, so this is form 1. I will consider this as my parent form. So, this illustration is just to give an example of how modal and modalless forms work. So, I'll include two buttons into this form. Uh, any kind of components it can be selected from the toolbox you just click it and place it into your form <coughs> so I'm going to have two buttons here so the first one would be model and the second button would be modeless. So I'll just say the flow of how this is going to work. In the first form, I have two buttons, modal and modeless. Once I choose modal, I will be directed to a second form. So once I have the two forms, in case of modal, as I had said earlier, without closing the child form, I will not be able to access the parent form. So let's see how this is done. 
so the action whatever i do it must happen once i click the model button so i will select the model button um then in solution explorer which will be present at the right hand side of your window you have to select windows form applications too which is actually the current project we are working in right click there and you have to give add new item and windows form because you, you need need to display another form once you select the model button so this is form 2 uh, what happens here is let me just display some kind of a message so this would be my form 2 and I will select a label and in the label I am going to type a message here okay so this is my second form now what I have to do is once I click the modal button I need to transfer the control to the second form so I will double click this button I will be transferred to the coding part once I click that button so here I will create an object for the second form form 2 So once I create an object for the second form, in case of model, I have to use the function show dialog. So f2 dot show dialog. If this is the case, then once I dub, uh, click the model button, then I will be transfer to the second form which had the message hello world and without closing the second form I will not be able to access the first form so let's just check if this works I am going to run this program Okay, so this is your first form having two buttons model and modeless so once I select model I'll have the second form which is hello world and without closing the second form I am not going to access the first form so only when I close the second form I will be able to access the first form so let's now see the coding for modeless in case of modeless you will be able to access the parent as well as the child forms simultaneously so in a similar manner once i click modeless i will be transferred to the coding part here again i should create an object for form 2 And in case of modeless, what I do is I have to use the function show. So this is for modeless, the show function is for modeless. And the show dialog function is for mode model. So I have saved this. Now I'm going to run this program. So once I select modeless, I will be directed to the second form, but here I can access the first form without 
closing the second form. So both the forms can be accessed simultaneously. So um, in case of Moodle, you will have the second form, but you will not be able to access the first form without closing the second form. But in case of Moodless, you will have the second form, but you can access the parent form and the child form simultaneously. So this is the difference between Moodle and Moodless. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video.